Agriculture.com Canola School is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. We're here today on RealAgriculture.com for the Canola School brought to you by Syngenta. We're here today with Dr. Hector Carcamo out of the Lethbridge Research Station. Uh, welcome today, Dr. Carcamo. Thank you. Okay, we're going to talk about the flea beetle. Uh, we're getting very close to planting. Uh, flea beetle is, a, is an insect that affects the crop uh, in the very early stages. Uh, what can we expect from the flea beetle or things we should be thinking about in terms of flea beetles for this coming 2010 growing season? Uh, flea beetles are a very interesting insect pest uh, and part of it is that it's a very difficult insect to predict. Scientists have been trying for many years to develop uh, forecasting models so we can tell farmers what to expect for flea beetles and it's very difficult because it's very much affected by the, uh, the weather. For example, if you have a very hot spring, you may actually get uh, flea beetles flying and uh, pretty much falling on your field like rain, so the, the distribution will be very random, you know, they will occur throughout the field. If you happen to have a cold spring, then the flea beetles will actually walk into the field and you could see greater damage along the perimeters. So it's very difficult to predict what will happen and also they can fly from fairly long distances, probably in the order of uh, three or four kilometers. So they, they can disperse from, uh, from the overwintering sites. So it's very hard to predict what will happen in the farm. And uh, most farmers have taken the approach of uh, just, uh, uh, I guess, getting the insurance and buying seed that is treated with insecticide. So that's, that's one uh, yeah. uh, very common practice. Uh, the other thing to remember is that even if, uh, if a seed has been treated with insecticide, it is possible for the insects to, uh, to uh, pass the thresholds. And the recommended threshold for damage is 25% of the cotyledon. And it is very important to remember also that it's only when the plant is at the seedling stage at the cotyledon stage that they are vulnerable to damage by flea beetles. Once the plants have passed that stage and they have two or three true leaves, then they are no longer vulnerable to flea beetles. And it's, it's quite uh, disconcerting sometimes because you can see a lot of damage on the, the plant. You can have up to 50% of the, of the true leaves damaged, but in fact the uh, canola plants are extremely good at compensating for insect damage. So the, uh, the flea beetles can be a problem. And this insect is uh, quite widespread. We have uh, uh, an exotic species, uh, actually two of them are exotic. Uh, in, in more northern areas we have the striped flea beetle and we have the uh, crucifer flea beetle in, in the south. And uh, we actually have problems with them throughout the periods. It's not just in Alberta, they can occur in Saskatchewan and into Manitoba. So it's, it's a difficult insect to predict, but uh, there are uh, seed treatments that uh, most of the time can prevent damage. And in some uh, unusual cases, when you have very warm conditions and very large infestations, they can surpass the 25% cotyledon damage. But remember that it's only when the plants are at the cotyledon stage that they can damage the plant. After that, the damage is, can be compensated by the plant. So uh, with, uh, with products like uh, Helix Extra, we want the flea beetle to take action on the plants because that's how essentially they're, they're controlled. That, that's right. Yeah. So um, with, with these higher end seed treatments or, and, and the control of flea beetles, are flea beetles becoming less of a concern in terms of the canola growing process, process or should we still be pretty concerned about them? Uh, it's very seldom that we actually can uh, eradicate the problem with insecticides because insects are so numerous and their ability to reproduce is so high. Uh, even, even when we have seed treatments, uh, something like flea beetles that have very high reproductive potentials and also very high dispersal potential is, is, is very different from a pest like wireworms, you know, that have a very long life cycle and you can uh, be able to use seed treatments once every three or four years. Uh, with flea beetles or other insect pests that we manage with insecticides. I think we need to keep an eye on them uh, year after year. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure.